Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today, in this video, I'm going to make tons of mistakes so that you don't have to. Hello and welcome to this episode. Um, as you can see, the bearings have turned up. Um, the ones that were uh, finding it very difficult to get back and uh, get changed from Hambini. Thanks very much to Hambini for um, changing over those bearings for me. Now, they arrived and I was over the moon to put them in to my wheels. But then we hit a snag. And as I said in the intro, here's where the mistakes started happening. The 6903 is turned up, these beautiful NTM bearings. So I gleefully unwrapped them, span it around and thought, yes, that's the best bearing I've ever felt in my life. Went to put it on the axle. Uh, uh, it doesn't fit on the axle. Hmm. I'll put them on the rear axle. Uh, yep, yeah, they're floppy is uh, floppy. The floppiest thing you can imagine. Look. Uh, yeah, we've got a problem. Oh, look, and they're not even the same size. They're smaller. What the heck is going on here? So I contacted Hambini, because he's a legend and knows everything. He suggested I get one of these, digital um, thingy. I don't even know the real name for it. Digital measuring device. So I got one. These are the bearings he sent me. These are the 69 uh, well, just well, that wasn't very good, was it? I can't even read them. I'm going blind. These are the 6903s he sent me. Um, again, this is probably not the most uh, expensive measuring one you can get. So we've got 30.02 on this time. I'm measuring it, and um, we've got 1688. If I squeeze it out a bit more, it goes up a little bit, but. Let's say 17, and we've got uh, 696, let's say 7 mil. This is a standard 6903 bearing. This axle is not standard. Oh, look. The axle width, if I can get it, is 18 mil. And this is 17. Great. So now I've got the wrong size bearings again. <sighs> anyway, so... I need a non-standard 6903.18 for these, for the front. Why, oh why wouldn't you make the same bearings for each side? I don't know. I'm just a lay person. You know, I'm not an engineer. If one of them takes 6903s, the other one should, yeah? That's my opinion. I mean, the hubs are the same size. I don't know. But anyway, this is the rear hub. Now you remember I sent back all my 6902s because the ones I took out the front wheel were 6903s. Okay, so we've got 28 by 7 internal by, let's say it's supposed to be 15, is it? Or yeah, let's say 15. These are standard 6902s and they go on the rear axle. But I've already sent all of my 6902s back. So now I'm stuck with four bearings that don't fit either of my axles. Whereas before I sent back the ones that fit the rear axle because I haven't taken the rear bearings out yet. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, we'll get there in the end. So now I've got my measuring stick. I've measured all of them and I've sent the details and the measurements back to Hambini. You must think I'm an idiot. And um, I've said, Sorry, I think I've made a big mistake because I was assuming that because the rear, sorry, the front ones were 6903s, the back ones should have been 6903. So I sent you all the bearings back and now I've got 6903s that I thought would fit them all, but they're actually non standard and I need a 6093.18. It's so confusing. He said, Yeah. Don't worry about it. Cycling um, industry is not um, known for being using standard sizes. Um, so I'm now going to send three of these back. 
One, two, three. Um, I've got six 903 presses, so I can keep those. And those go there. I'm going to send these three back unopened. I'm not going to send this open one back because, um, well, because I've used it. And that wouldn't be very nice. So I'm sending these back. I've asked for some standard 6902s, two of them that will fit on here, and two 6902 presses so I can get these sorted. Also, I've asked for a 6803, I believe. I'm just going to look in my drawer. It's a 6802 um, for the free hub. If he's got a spare one hanging around, I'd take that one as well, please. The 6 903 18s a mm, little bit more difficult so i looked on youtube on youtube that's what i'm doing now i looked on ebay uh i looked on amazon couldn't find any decent ones looked on ebay lots and lots of ones from asia for like 50p not getting those i did find a company in australia um selling uh ceramic bearings i can't remember their name but as soon as they turn up I'll, I'll be obviously doing a video of me putting them in so uh, we'll see then so they are ceramic 6903 18s uh, they're coming from australia they should be here in about what are we today in about 10 days um so there so don't make these mistakes get yourself one of these okay it's only a cheap one. This wasn't very expensive. Um, get yourself one. Measure your bearings. Don't just read what's on the side because they could be non-standard inside measurement. What a nightmare. You would think, as I said before, that if one is one size, all of them will be the same size because the hubs are the same size, but not inside. They're smaller or bigger. And the, and the axles are smaller or bigger. I don't understand why, as I said. I'm not a uh, not an engineer. I'm just someone trying to change their bearings, finding it very difficult. Um, my fault. I should have had one of these first, and then we wouldn't even be in this problem because I could have taken them off and measured them and gone, have you got any of this size bearing, please? And we would have all been okay. But I didn't have one. Didn't have the right tools making loads of mistakes but i'm actually learning a valuable lesson on the way so um it's all been cool so thanks for watching part three where i still haven't got any of my bearings in my wheels and um hopefully in part four will actually see me putting some bearings in so stay tuned thanks for subscribing and um we'll see you on the next chorus house bye